first like and subscribe so right here i have a billboard and if you don't know how these work this is a big canvas and behind it is a big plank of wood so what they do is they get the canvas they spread it over the wood and then they use tie dyes along the edges to really cinch it up behind so with the clean look like this what would be the coolest wall decoration of all time a, a billboard first you must select one there was a billboard that was kind of famous at my high school for just being easy to climb I'd climbed it a few times, so I kind of already knew if stealing it was possible, and I was actually pretty confident. I gathered two other friends. I'm not going to use their names for this video, so I'm just going to call one yellow and the other one red. I was leaving town to go to college, so I just kind of pushed it off until the very end of summer, just so if there was any trouble with the police, I could just leave. So the day comes, and I'm pretty stoked. My plan was to cover the lights that were on the billboard. And I was just gonna use box cutters to cut the canvas along the edges so that it would just hopefully fall down the front and run away with it. We take my car to the place and we kinda just park to the side of the road. We decided that two people would climb the billboard and cut it with the box cutters while one person would stay below and kinda be a lookout for us. We get up there, throw the towels on the lights and everything's going pretty smoothly. Can't really see us or anything. We started at the bottom of the billboard. As soon as we finished that, we went to the sides I took the left and yellow took the right. It's hard to cut the sides of these things because instead of just walking along a platform, I have to like climb up the bill while I'm cutting it. And about halfway up, yellow yells over to me and he says, I think cops are here. And when I looked over at my car, I saw that he was not lying. My first thought is, how did Red mess this up? We had a lookout for a reason. He forgot what his job was or something. But we start climbing down the billboard. And as soon as we get to the bottom of the ladder, we're kind of hiding exactly opposite of the cop. We're having this little debate, like, should we just run the opposite direction? Like, we could probably get away. The cop shined his light at us and said, I can see you, just come out. Kind of put the hands up, walked out, you know. Tried to look not armed and dangerous. I think we left the box cutters up at the billboard. But when we walk over to the cop, Red is already talking to him. And I'm like, this dude just played us so hard. And at this moment, a second cop car pulls up. And I'm like, oh, damn. The second cop comes over, and he was actually cooler than the first. He was younger, but he came up asking us for our IDs and just basically scolded us for climbing it. I low-key was relieved as soon as they started yelling at us because that just confirmed that they didn't know we were trying to take the entire thing. The cops are talking to us. They start to ask for our IDs and our names and like where we live and stuff, you know, just like basic harassment. Red goes first. He's already told his name to the one cop. Then I go, and when it's Yellow's turn, he lies. He just didn't tell him the right name. He goes, Roy Eberhardt. Apparently it's a character from a book. He said he had read it in middle school and that's just like what he planned to like say his fake name was to the cops. As soon as I hear this, I'm kind of flabbergasted. The cops run our IDs and they just keep asking where he lives. Why doesn't he have a driver's license if he's old enough? Looking back, it might have just been me and Red for just being the most honest. The second cop pulled me over to the side and he said, is he lying about his name? And I just said, nah, he's just weird like that and kind of played it off as a joke. Let us off with just a warning of trespassing. They didn't even give us a ticket or anything. For moral of this story, if you're gonna steal a billboard, go on foot just so the cops don't see your car. Never tell a cop your legal name. And it's never a bad idea to do a few practice rounds with your lookout just to make sure that they know what their job is.